Hey guys, Nick Davis here with Adorama TV. Today we're testing out the all new DSX lenses from Rokinon. I wanna point out a few things that stood out to me. For one, their full frame coverage. And that's awesome because now you don't have to worry about even the larger Super 35 sensors, just like the Red Komodo, you know that you're guaranteed to get covered. So another feature that's awesome about these lenses is they're at T1.5. And that's really cool because before, they didn't have the actual coatings to handle that contrast. Now you're seeing things like less chromatic aberration, you're seeing things like less flare, and better fall off. All right, so guys, we're gonna conduct a lens test, but before we do that, I just wanna state that on the camera right, we have a Gemini 1x1 at 3200 Kelvin, and I'm adding a couple more lights like a Quasar to simulate more backlight. We have a regular bulb from Home Depot, non-frosted, and then we also have a Quasar 2000 Kelvin bulb. So you have a mixture of different temperatures and different types of fixtures like LEDs and um, tungsten bulbs that are normal. And we're also gonna incorporate a flashlight. So to start, we're on a 24 mil, and you can see now, as he's waving it side to side, the flare is actually really, really good, and it doesn't show any sort of like orbiting or ghosting as much as the uh, previous uh, DS lenses. So now we're also, we're gonna switch to the 35. So I just wanna note that we're at T 2.8 on every single focal length. And we are also shooting at a 180 degree shutter, 2398, 800 ISO, which is the base on the Komodo. And we're also shooting at a 4400 Kelvin temperature. So now you can see with the um, flashlight that even the 35 is, is really, really well controlled with the flares. Um, not much starring. And that's, that's very good, especially for a 35. I think most 35s in, in most brands are um, always the uh, odd ones that, that are messed up. So we're gonna switch over to the 50. So now, even with the 50, you see a little bit of starring, but it's not that bad. You could definitely get rid of it with, I would say like a, like a 1 8 Black Pro Mist or even a, a 16, 1 16th. Um, the nice thing I like about the 50 and the 24 is you see, especially with the 50, there's, there's a nice separation and you could see right now we have no map box, no hood whatsoever. I made sure all the lenses are clean, but there's no flaring um, in the lens at all. I mean, that's that's really, really well, especially the fact that I have a four foot um, window up top that's backlighting, David. So let's switch over to the 85. So on the 85, I never shoot 85, um, and I, I'm i starting to like it a lot. I mean, I think that this, this image is really, really nice, it's soft. Um, and not in a, in a sharpness way. I think that they can handle the Komodo 6K easily. Um, and you can definitely tell that they are full frame lenses because the Komodo has a much larger sensor than a standard Super 35 and you see no signs of vignetting at all. Um, the separation is really good on the 85 and the 50. 24 uh, lacks a little bit of depth, but you can just increase uh, backlighting and now let's just see the flare with the flashlight. The 85 handles that really, really well. So while using these lenses, another thing I noticed was their construction. It's awesome because they have an all metal barrel with weather sealing now, which is really good if you're shooting in the rain or a dusty environment. While filming with these lenses, I noticed that they have a really smooth focus throw. And that's really awesome, especially in this price point. Another great feature on this lens set is they allow you to have readings on both sides. That's important, especially if your AC is pulling focus. So when I was filming with these lenses, I loved how warm the image looked. Um, I think that's due to the new coating. 
And that's really nice, especially when you're filming certain scenes, uh, people's faces, or even landscapes. So overall, I had a great experience using these lenses, and I hope you guys enjoyed what you were watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Adorama TV channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.